in this forecast. A huge pattern change is coming to Texas next week, which may bring severe weather. And we have breaking details on a tropical depression that just formed, likely to become a hurricane near Mexico. Here's the latest on those stories now. This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four-minute forecast, and let's hop right into that threat for severe weather today. There is a marginal risk for severe weather across southwestern Oklahoma, and as well as areas like Childress, and as well as Wichita Falls, and as far south as Midland are included in that potential for some severe weather tonight. Damaging winds and some large hail will be possible across those areas in that green shaded area. Let's get right into that future radar for you. This afternoon, we'll probably stay dry through at least 2 to 3 o'clock. Storms will start to likely fire up right around 3 to 4 o'clock this afternoon. Peak of the storms will be right around seven o'clock so in terms of severe weather the greatest chance will be right around seven about 40 percent of that green shaded region again we'll see some severe weather tonight and you can see storms anywhere from southwestern oklahoma into portions of central and as well as western texas the greatest potential for severe weather will likely be in this area by the way so get again basically in areas like central texas into southwestern oklahoma eventually by about eight o'clock daylight heating will expire that will eventually allow for a temperature inversion which will likely completely diminish all these showers after about nine to ten o'clock tonight so we should stay dry after then if you have any late evening plans you should be perfectly fine then we have a big change coming to the weather over the next several days a big pattern change i've mentioned this in the last several forecasts here's your low pressure system back out here to the west again this will bring some showers and storms a pretty hefty severe weather risk by the way across the great plains going into tuesday and wednesday so that'll be an area to watch fairly closely but this will eventually bring us some rain for portions of texas and even north texas as well so this will be something to watch uh more on that here you can kind of take a look at the future radar we'll have an isolated chance for some storms on tuesday this might actually create some severe weather across again pretty much the same areas that are under that severe weather potential for today probably a marginal risk at best so we're not really looking at anything too crazy on tuesday wednesday we'll have some showers and storms more widespread across the central and as well as portions of the southern plains eventually heading into thursday we'll have a little bit better of a chance for maybe some showers and storms it doesn't really show up on the european mall as of right now you can see maybe going to late friday there might be a line of storms then that might bring us some rain it's going to be basically a cold front that is associated with a low pressure system like a thousand miles away at least into Canada so it's a pretty lengthy cold front they'll be looking at so the chances of storms as of right now seem to be low but it's definitely a chance so definitely keep that in mind all right big development in the tropics right now we have a tropical depression one as I'm going to recording this this might actually become a tropical storm by the time you're watching this uh, but this is going to be going toward Mexico over the next several days it is forecast to become a category one hurricane as you can see here by the National Hurricane Center and this will eventually go toward the Gulf of Mexico you can see on Tuesday that it will come to become a tropical depression now from here where will it go will it go up here or will it go out here that's a big question mark this could very well go into the gulf of mexico though that's why i'm pointing it out to you we usually don't look at pacific ocean weather too much i'll give the intensity guide by the way over the next several days uh, as you can see this is what the computer models are showing so again some of them are bringing it up into the south southwestern portions of the gulf of mexico some are bringing it toward the caribbean so either way though it looks like some sort of tropical development will likely occur somewhere in the atlantic ocean sometime next week now whether that be an invest or a tropical depression or even maybe a weekend tropical storm it's a bit of a question mark by the way for those that are near mexico if you have any friends there or family or anything like that it will likely become a category one hurricane most computer models signaling that only one bring it to a category two i don't expect a category two hurricane but i would expect it to at least get to a low end category one hurricane big question mark again going into the gulf of, or into the gulf of mexico next week here's a look at the computer models by the way and kind of what it's showing this is the gfs model as of right now you can see the low pressure system will make landfall there that's your hurricane and eventually going into next week by thursday you can see that low pressure system it shows that it kind of develops out here in the caribbean that eventually moves off to the northeast so that's just something to kind of keep in mind the european model has kept it down here in the southwest and eventually comes off to the north so there's a big difference there which one happens as of right now it's a big question mark well again we'll get more details on that for you likely in the next couple of forecasts so stay tuned again temperatures today by the way this morning we're waking up to the mid to upper 60s eventually by the afternoon hours we'll warm up into the low to mid 90s across the area back out to the west by the way some areas into the low 100s that's why that cap will break by the way all right temperatures tomorrow will be fairly similar to today some areas a few degrees warmer like wichita falls can be 100 abilene 103 degrees eventually getting into monday if you have any memorial day uh, plans at this point we're looking at low to mid 90s across the metroplex back out to the west low 100 so it's gonna be a big difference there again central texas is gonna be feeling the heat over the next several days here's the latest north texas weather center seven day forecast again storm chances will increase as we head into late next week again temperatures actually seasonally reasonable for this time of the year we're gonna be really right, right around average average high for this time of the year by the way is 87 degrees this forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, all dense repair, and the Dashner Law Firm.